door is all boarded up. Boards seem loose, though. I should be able to pull them off with the right tool. Uh, now I remember the key to do this. Ha ha! I use a crowbar. I can't combine them, obviously. I think I cut this crowbar. What a workout. Oh, another page from the same book, okay. Without breaking the seal, inject the liquid phosphor into the container, shake vig vigorously to initiate the reaction, use as soon as possible. Because that tells me what I need to do, I'm not going to get this blue phosphor. If the elements begin to separate, further shaking is required. Also note, hand protection is critical after this step. Resulting acid is moderately stronger than common household cleaners. What half these words mean? It's a good thing you're here, Anthony. Oh, okay. That's why we have the gloves, right? I think I know what we have to do. I figured that you could only fill the bottle with one thing at once, but maybe you have to go up to one of those pools and fill it with the blue phosphor as well. And then, once you have a bottle filled with both gas and phosphor, you need to put the gloves on because they're hand protection, right? That's what I'm thinking now. I didn't realize that that's what you're supposed to do. Cleaning sponge with a sponge with a rough surface. Oh boy, what's that for? Uh, some decrepit robots. So much. For these. Yeah, same text prompt. Big metal box with complicated complicated machinery inside. Might have to come back here for the complicated machinery, whatever that is. Okay, so can I, like, go up to one of those pools in the other area and fill the bottle with that, too? Is that what I have to do? I probably have to go back here, and I keep forgetting I can shift to run. This is becoming increasingly useful. Like, in the beginning of the game, I didn't need it, but now that I know areas where I need to go... It's kind of useful, so I don't reach red ground. So can I just do it right here? Like, let me first switch to the bottle. Uh... Interact. You comment on this pool. Do anything with it. Uh... Apparently not. Oh, do I have to use the syringe on this? To pick up the phosphor. No. Oh, you know what? I probably need to go to the biggest pool. Or like one of these guys. No. I think there was a particular one that was good that I had to go to, if I remember correctly. There was one over here somewhere that was, like, massive, that had, like, more sparkles or something. Wasn't there? Oh, did I miss this? Initially, the amount of noxious fumes emitted by the natural gas vents caught our team off guard. Thank goodness the medical team reacted as quickly as they did. Despite its failure, that first expedition did bring up some interesting observations about the barrens. We found that there's not one, but two such vent zones. Yeah, I've seen both. With fumes being pumped out in such high concentrations, it seems a miracle that gas hasn't spread anywhere else. Our biologists concluded that the phosphorus shrimp in the crater pools were actively consuming the gas. The shrimp in the ocean also prevent the gas from weight wafting off into the glen. If that's the case, then we owe a lot to these little guys. Right, I remember reading that. I feel like I'm not interacting with things. What is the key to do this? I have the bottle. Can I go up to this guy? This guy I interact with. Yeah, the bottle's already full of the smoke. Can't do anything with the pool of this. What am I supposed to do to pick that up? And I feel like the syringe is equally useless. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. Back over here. 
Alright, I can't go that way. Even though we would lead you to believe that you can, you have to go around this way. Oh yeah, this was it. There was this little bubble here. It sure looks different. The water looks like jelly. It's a foreign bubble over the surface of a pond. Can I use the syringe on this? So, we're filling up the syringe, Anthony. I guess it's kind of like a funnel. The liquid might be a bit too thick to fit in the needle. Hey, it actually went in. Gross. Okay, now I can take this and combine it with the bottle of smoke. So I should inject the liquid through the cork, An right, Anthony? Okay. It's like I'm a doctor. Oh, I should probably shake this too. It changed color. Bottle of acid. I'll wear them when I have to. Uh, okay, you had better. <laughs> I guess that she only needs to wear them when she's holding the bottle, which she isn't right now. She's holding the sun. Go. So, back to this guy. Yeah, so pick up the bottle. I need something I can use to wash the robot with. Sponge. That was a nice puzzle. Okay, now I have a wet sponge that I can use. Okay, hold still. I have no other choice. There. How's that? I can move again. Thank you. I'm able to fulfill my purpose again. Where would you like to go? Take me to the tower. Calculating. Closest destination to the tower is the Glen. Port number... My built-in navigation circuits have fried. I'm going to assume that's not good. It is not good at all. Once again, I cannot follow my programming. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, in the event of an error, you should speak with the head engineer. She will know what to do. Okay. Uh, head engineer. Um. And if I recall correctly, I do not know who the head engineer is. A bit of a problem. This guy here. The ask. Yeah, okay. Prophecy. Um. Never mind. The Barons. So empty here. Robots well, called the Barons, or any people living in the area besides robots, I mean, I do not know. Not built to wander. Yeah, this was, I already, yeah, I've already, um, talked with that guy. I've done the extent of what I can do with that guy. Nobody in here. Uh, the only other thing I can think of to do is go back to the robot that showed me the mines and talk to her. Which is over here through this sort of mazy area. Uh, I have no idea where exactly, though. I just remember there were clovers. Yeah, I've read all this stuff. I explored this area extensively already. There's that weird vortex thing again. I've already read all these papers. Which one is the one? I know it's off to the right. Bit of a confusing maze, but not too, too confusing. Is it this guy? Does this just go back to the mines? Hi, little guy. Washing over the plants, yeah. Right, it's here. Hi. Me again, miss. I found a robot who can take me towards the tower, but it's having some trouble, so it told me to talk to you. Right, she is the head engineer, okay? 
All right. What is the issue? It said something about its nav navigation circuits being fried. Just navigation circuits, apparently. Anthony and I fixed everything else, I think. Hmm. I have something that may help. Robo uh, robots, 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 have the ability to trace material from their source locations. If you let the robot borrow this, it should its backup tracking system should activate. Like a necklace. The clover. It's very pretty necklace. What's it made of? Amber found from the glen. What's the thing inside the amber? A black clover? That's just a common plant in our world. It's also... I'm not sure if I can bear to part with this. My programming says yes, but I still feel conflicted. Never mind. You need to finish your mission more than I need a keepsake. Here. Oh, thank you. That's the I did something good sound. Before I go, is there anything I can do in return? Actually, do you know how to play chess? I, in real life, don't know how to play chess. Yeah? Well, sort of. I've played it with some older kids before. I know how to play checkers. Then will you play a game with me? I mean, I don't know the rules very well, but I guess it's the least I could do. <laughs> oh boy, we're playing chess, actually. Or no, we're not. Okay. We're really good at this, thank you. It's not gonna make me go through playing an actual chess game. It's built into my code. Uh, so, what's it like? Being a robot at all. I've talked to other robots. It's on my bucket list. I'm gonna learn how to play chess, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> and they all say something about programming and code and stuff. Even you did, just now. It's a little hard to understand sometimes. I know. Most of the robots here are not tamed. Tamed? Watch out. Goes my bishop. Taming is complicated. Oh. How complicated, exactly? Goes my other bishop. I can't really explain what tame robots are, but I'm one of them. All the other tame robots have moved to other regions. Exactly where, I don't know. Oh. There goes my little horse. Knight. Right. Oh, have you ever been to any other regions? I heard that there's two more. In the past, yes. I still have the data, the coordinates, the memories. I don't know how much of that still holds true. The world may be a very different place now. Because the sun is gone? No. I said this already, didn't I? The sun probably won't save the world. The decaying started back, the, the decaying started back before the sun went out. The sun's sudden death was just the tipping point. Things went south really fast after that. Oh. Then there's nothing I can do? Check. What? When did your queen get there? The only thing you can do is complete your pilgrimage. Whoops, I hit the start menu button by accident. Um, I know that experience. Playing against a computer at one of these games is hard. Uh, in a way, you're only supposed to be second chance for the people. Just like how the Barons was only supposed to be a second chance for me. There's no guarantee that things will work out. But, checkmate. Alright, I guess I've kept you for long enough. Thank you for listening. I hope you get home safely. Ah, thank you also. Alright, let's continue. It's kind of sad. This game has such a good atmosphere. So, I have in hand what I need in order to continue. A very valuable thing that I shouldn't lose. So, uh, hopefully we don't lose it. The game's just like, you dropped it in the water, oh no! How kind of her to part with her, uh, little clover necklace that she doesn't even think can, when she doesn't think that we can even save the world, you know? Continuing on, so the rowboat, robot, rowboat, robot is over here. We'll get that item out. Amber. A piece of glowing amber with a black clover inside. Yes, thanks for restating that. Oh, this is Amber from the Glen. I can remember now. 
Activating tracking system. Setting course. Wait. This boat is over capacity. You'll need to leave behind some of your possessions. Oh. I don't think I'll be needing this crowbar anymore. Or this gas mask and gloves. That is acceptable. Onwards we go. I was a bit concerned she was going to throw away the necklace, but I knew she wouldn't do that. Let's be honest, she's too nice. Continuing on. We're in a different area. Here is your stop, the Glen. Thank you. There should be a village to the north, but that's all I can recall. Oh, that's good to know. Farewell. May your mission be a success. Are you leaving? Yes. I must return to my station. I'll be all alone again. It's okay. I have not been tamed. Just like that, he's gone. What is this first building? Different style building now. Seems mostly empty. Oh. I stand corrected. It's a beautiful view. Wow. Some gorgeous art in this game. Oh, that's where it just was. The entire point of this building was to show you that one art piece. We put this building in the game because we made this art piece, and we just had to show it to you. So, uh, we didn't put anything inside the building. We just decided that, you know, um, we wanted to show that off. So instead of having you spawn on top of the building, we just put a building. Fireflies. Can I- can I talk to you? When you- when you come around? Catching fireflies for mommy. Doesn't sound very robotic. It sounds like an actual person. This area will have actual people in it. You know, and not just robots. There was a time where people used to live in these ruins. But due to flooding, most of us have moved to less permanent settlements. Flooding? Aye, the land has gotten brittle. The Glen used to be in one piece, you know, but now it's just a bunch of islands that get smaller and smaller. Ah. A jar of fireflies. A bed. Well, more like a mattress. Can't sleep in that, apparently. Jar of worms! Gross! Jar. It's a fish stew. I'm just going up to everything, just in case, you know? That's how these games work, right? Apparently, there's a village to the north. Are we already there? I think we're already there. Maybe I'm severely underestimating it. Huh. I'm gonna get dizzy if you're spinning around like that. I'm the tower! Huh? Grandpa says the tower used to spin all the time, bringing sunlight to the world. I want to see it too. Well, I'm here now. I guess it will only be a matter of time again. Uh, I bet you check for that if there's anything important to hear. Full of dried beans. Holes. Keys. I wonder if the developer got tired of typing out labels. It's a bed. More like a mattress. Okay. Same thing. Another jar. Empty jar. Okay, moving on. There's just this person here. Oh, that's alright. Civilization. This has no door. Okay, so if you can't see a door, you can't go inside of it. Fair enough. Last week I saw more of those squares while out fishing. I knew better than to get too close, though. The squares, hey? What are the squares? Squares? Squares, man. They're bad news. What about them? Stay away from the squares, okay? Mm -hmm. Squares? What squares? I know that squares were mentioned previously, but what about them? I not... I can't walk into the door of that house because it's up against grass, and 
I can't walk under these tents, apparently. Oh, except I can here, I just can't there. And I still can't go in the door here. So only if they are a cool-looking door can I go inside of them. It's slowly been chipped away already, but it's still trying to stay alive, I think. It doesn't matter, one day the world will finally give up this fight. I just hope I'm not alive to see it. Bringing back the sun, though, that won't fix the root of the problem. Just like the other lady said, but don't lose heart. Without the sun, the world will die much faster. At the very least, I'm sure everyone would like to see the sun again. Holes. So it's inevitable that the world is going to die, but we might as well extend its lifetime. The land is fragmenting at an alarming rate. I don't like to think about the day when this town finally loses the sea. We'll have to find another place to settle. I haven't seen whatever squares are talking- Oh, wait. The squares as in the squares that are the weird squares that appeared where the thing from, like, where I got the thing from my documents, there were squares there. Is that the squares they're talking about? I'm inclined to think so. This is it, the last of our grain surpluses. Uh, and now we're dealing with a vermin problem. You can get cats. Not that I'm a cat. I mean... Oats. Heads of wheat. Am I really gonna go around looking at all these jars? This looks like flour. You know, I think I can just ignore these jars. <laughs> but I appreciate the effort the dev put into labeling them all something different. Wow, is that the sun? Yeah, and you're holding it? Isn't it hot? Not really. It's nice and warm. Surprised that uh, these people are not more shocked that I am even here. I'm losing track of which ones I've already gone in. I've already gone in that one, but I haven't gone in this one. Not ready yet, but would you like some stew? I'm not hungry, but thank you. It's the least I can offer the savior. They already know I'm here, apparently. Word spreads quickly in this uh, village with almost no people in it. Except, I guess in houses there are some people, but not really a whole ton. Goats. Or, well, mountain sheep. The crops have been growing poorly without the sun, and there's no telling how long our surpluses will last. Please, Saver, you have to hurry. I... I'll do my best. Oh, what are you? you? seem wise and important. I need someone to help me herd my rams. Oh, I can do that. I've seen some grown-ups do it back home. You can't just push them around. They're carrying the sun. Uh, wait, can't you just watch the sun for me? I cannot. I am but a simple shepherd. Okay, come back when your hands are free. You will be rewarded if you can herd my rams. Okay, so maybe there's an after-game thing here. What's this guy doing? <laughs> That just plays that sound. Okay, we're not gonna get an explanation of that. I guess he's the tower. Hey. Okay. It's not a crossing, even though it looks like one. This area kind of reminds me of... I can't get over here, apparently. This area, I was about to say, this area kind of reminds me of Free Realms. I know that there's a um, remade version of that game now. I haven't got a key to it. I'm kind of just waiting until the full version releases. I don't want to be um, playing the alpha if it's so empty. Apparently it's really not finished yet. Hey, uh, you here to trade? Trade? Yeah. Is there anything you want to get rid of? Make me an offer, and I'll give you something in return. Yeah, do we have something like that, Anthony? Well, can't get rid of this amber. We have to wait until 
Um, we have something else. Oh, we're back in this area. I mean, I think that's what the game is trying to tell me to do, but I'm going to avoid doing it if I can. Doorway's full of vines, Anthony. Strange journal. What was this like again? I don't think I can... It's just like, um, you know, in a strange language sort of deal. They both have clovers. Can I combine these items? I can't combine those. Thought maybe you could put the amber in the cover and, like, something super sci-fi would happen. I feel like we can't give away the strange journal. Because it probably contains some important text I need later. It's like an altar... Blood can take away our farmlands, but it can't take away our fish. So I don't know, like with the other level, I know that the end I knew that the end goal was the rowboat robot. In this world, I don't know what my end goal is yet, so I'm going to hold off on making any important decisions right now. It's gonna be sad if I have to trade away the clover, amber, necklace. I have a feeling I have to, though. Unless the game won't let me. Which is really sad. I don't want to do it. <laughs> don't. Did I go in here already? You still live here? Sort of. Fish populations near the village are thinning. So we fisher folk are making temporary shelter here. Makes sense. Paper ruins have been abandoned for the while, though, but I do see kids coming out of those. I think they actually live there. Nothing's biting. Back where we started, but we haven't explored south yet. Alula? Alula, where did you go? Anthony, did you hear that? Alula? I think it's coming from southeast of here. Oh? Hey, you there! I've seen a little girl. She's a little bit shorter than you, and... Wait, that's... the sun. Are you our savior? I... yeah? Oh, my stars! Sorry for my rudeness. It... huh? It's alright. Looking for someone. My little sister has been gone for three days now. Looking all over, but what she look like? Um, a little shorter than you. Long blue hair, two blue feathers on top of her head. Sorry, I haven't seen anyone like that. Where was the last place you saw her? Back inside the ruins. She said she was headed towards the forest, so I'm waiting here now. I ran out of places to look. Best fishing spot I've found yet. All the fish I catch here are longer than my arm. Well, at least there's still some fish. Not go anywhere else. I guess I can go to the right. Let's see. More land over there, but I can't reach it. Blocked off by this one stream. Oh, okay, we can cross here. Oh, this is going to be a giant maze. Let's, uh, round. Yeah, as, as I was saying, this kind of reminds me of Free Realms, which is kind of weird, because, like, Free Realms is way more... I guess there were creepy areas in Free Realms, but, like, for the most part, it was 
kind of warm and inviting, and this really isn't, but just something about, uh, something about the art style kind of reminds me. Like, how it's sort of, uh, rounded. Carry on, then. What did he even say? Have a nice day, you two. Okay, I, I missed what he said. Though it must not have been important. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? No. Oh, carry on, then. This is the research station? How come you're red instead of green? Well, more of a purple than red. Your eyes and stuff are red. I am only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I will return to my station in the city soon. I see. In the city, huh? Right, so they're color-coded based on the area they're from, I guess? I'm in charge of collecting the moss samples. Cool. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Oh. Anthony and I actually fixed one of these earlier, in a place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right, you guys already have power and all. Generator. This one's got a working battery. That's all? Okay. It's just an in-world explanation for why this is... This. Random block? Oh, oh, it's just water. Okay. Phosphor tree growth rate has been reduced as of late. Phosphor trees. Beep boop. Water collection project resuming. Hello, living person. Hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um, my programming says that organic beings need water to survive. So I shall offer it to you. Oh, uh, sure, we'll take it. It's full of little glass tubes of water. Water samples. Take care now, person. So we now have a water sample. Uh... Yeah. There we go. Got the key for a second. Label says, water sample. Oh, more squares. Monitoring, monitoring anomaly. What is that thing? An anomaly. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, we know it's an anomaly, but... Can we do anything? Apparently not. See, the first time I saw one of those was when um, I had to do something on my computer, which we haven't had in a while. I had to go into my documents, which is a really messy folder, and find a text file, which I haven't had to do in some time now. So, um, how much of a core component of this of it, it is of this game is uh, now being thrown into question. I did it once. And that was it, that one time. And then squares appeared. So, is it like when... It can't be when something happens on my computer that the squares appear, though, because apparently the res residents have been seeing squares a lot, but it appeared after I did my thing, so I'm inclined to think that they're linked activities. Let's go this way. I have no idea where I am anymore. This is a huge maze. Are you tamed? I can't talk to you like that. The sun. You're the messiah. Are you on your way to the tower? Mm -hmm. You can enter the refuge through this wall. You'll need to sign your name in this scroll first. All right. You have a pen. Um... No, I've lost mine. Perhaps you should look around the glen for another. Oh, that's a bit of a silly predicament. So that's where I'm supposed to go. My goal is that I need a pen. I'm guessing I have to trade that person for a pen. Do note the runes below are partially flooded. Oh, should we not be here? There's no immediate danger. Using this area as a dwelling is not recommended, however. This is where that child was lost and had to get back to the forest, apparently. Same vines, eh? Cluster vines are blocking the way. Do I have a tool that can... Like, I don't have my crowbar anymore, so I don't have a tool that I can use to get rid of these vines. Do 
computer. Hello again, Anthony. Oh boy, you changed my best top background. It seems I need to help you again. Nico will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Do you see it? Is it my desktop? Because that's the e most easily accessible place on my machine. Unless you mean the start menu. Unless you mean the Windows 10 start menu. Which is this menu. No. Oh, wait, the pop-up went away. Just double checking that it is not on my desktop because that's the most obvious answer. No, I don't see it. I know you're not exactly that bright for a god, Anthony, but this shouldn't be difficult. Just poke around a bit, it really isn't hard to miss. Is it behind this window? Oh, of course it's behind this window. I've got it. Yeah, I know, I figured it out. I was gonna tell you that I figured it out. So it's like a series of squares, but not like the squares we've seen. It's like a light bulb shape. I see the clue. It's very obvious, but I don't know what to do with the clue. I have the key, but no lock. Well, I've made significant progress in this part, so I think I'm going to wrap this up. So, I will use this... I'm actually going to print screen this clue in case it goes away when I close the game, which is probably likely. Um, there you go. So I print screened it, and uh, I'm going to save, and uh, we'll resume this next time. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.